The first man ballooned flight was on November 21st, 1783 in France. The first balloons were made out of paper and linen. Smoke and heated air were used as lifting gases and were created by lighting a straw fire underneath the balloon. Today's balloons use propane with a fuel burner. The balloons have two parts, the envelope and the basket. Manufacturers use a computer to design the balloon. They use a pattern to cut out the ripstop nylon fabric. A seamstress sews the fabric together with a big sewing machine. Then she sews the webbing onto the seams. The webbing carries the weight of the basket. After it is sewn, they have to coat the balloon with a polyurethane sealant. The basket is made from a skeleton of aluminum tubes and woven wicker. It has a padded leather rim for the comfort of passengers. It has a tough rawhide base with wooden skids to protect the wicker. Propane tanks are contained inside of the basket. Tubes run from the propane tanks up to the burners. The basket and the envelope are connected with nylon and Kevlar ropes. The nylon and Kevlar ropes are mixed together. Kevlar, if put in sun, is very, very bad for the rope and will deteriorate very fast, but is stronger than steel, and if collided with a power line, will not cut like butter like steel aircraft cables will. The reason hot air balloons go up on hot sunny days is because the Kevlar inside the rope is covered by the nylon, which makes it resistant to the sunlight. A fan is put in front of the envelope, and cold air is blown into the envelope, and then the burner is fired up, which heats the cold air inside, causing the balloon to rise up. Hot air is lighter than cold air, which makes the balloon rise. Here we go.